Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I'm going to answer a question that is a constant question that comes and goes. And a lot of times beginners or people who are just investigating the whole bodybuilding and fitness thing, uh, they have some misunderstandings around what bodybuilding is or powerlifting. And, you know, they ask questions about, you know, who's stronger, what's better, what's, you know, this and that, right? Because they don't really quite understand why athletes do what they do in certain sports and, and really what what the parameters are and how to adjust them in order to get a certain result as opposed to another result, right? So, so case in point, you know, the uh, standard question I get is, are bodybuilders weaker than powerlifters? Like, what's the point of being a bodybuilder? Because all you do is just pump muscles and get useless muscles, right? And this is a big fallacy because they'll see some sort of steroid monger, you know, bodybuilder who can get away with doing some sort of high repetition set and that's it. And then he gets big muscles, but it's because he's, you know, really using hormones or some other thing. But when it comes down to drug-free bodybuilding, you definitely have to get stronger in order to get bigger. You can't just just perpetually rep out of a, a thousand reps or something like that and pump blood into an area and get big useless muscles. Like drug-free guys don't do this. What I'm gonna say is that most natural bodybuilders have a bit of a power lifter in them. They're not just exclusively high rep fiends that are just like doing, you know, a thousand reps for something or whatever and getting big muscles. Like that would just turn them into small sinewy sort of in shape guys, but not necessarily big bodybuilder type guys for the most part, right? So a combination of strength training as well as reps is necessary for a natural bodybuilder. That, that's really the key. And what percentage will maybe be different from one person to the next, but that is definitely key for natural bodybuilders. Now, to answer the question, is a power lifter stronger than a bodybuilder? And we're talking about drug-free. Let's just talk about drug-free just, just to make things less complicated here. Power lifters are stronger when it comes down to the three lifts that they train. They become specialists. They become super coordinated around these three lifts. That's the sport of powerlifting, right? Is to just specialize. And when you really concentrate on three lifts as opposed to, uh, you know, a massive amount of lifts, like a massive different amount of exercises, because bodybuilding, you wanna develop all these different muscle groups to develop the shape of the body, to develop strength in different planes or angles. Uh, it's just a different sport where powerlifters specialize in three lifts. So yeah, in those three lifts, powerlifters, for the most part, for the body weight, will be stronger. One of the reasons for this is because they're not training a lot of those other body parts in order to put on extra muscle mass or extra body weight. So pound for pound, they will be stronger with those big three lifts. Now, if you take that powerlifter, though, and compare the strength to a bodybuilder with a different lift, don't be surprised if you see that the bodybuilder is actually stronger with some of those other lifts that the powerlifter doesn't specialize in, you see? So it's not about stronger overall, it's more about what exercises is a person stronger in. Now, powerlifting, of course, is really lower back heavy. And what I mean is there's a lot of lower back involvement in the squat and in the deadlift. So their lower backs will definitely be strong, uh, especially when it comes down to the one rep maxes and stuff. Now, it doesn't mean bodybuilding doesn't use a lot of lower back and stuff, but they're not necessarily concentrating purely on the core as much as more the uh, muscles that surround the core. Because some, some bodybuilders don't concentrate on a lot of lower back lifts because of the fact they don't want to thicken the waist and stuff. Now, that's another debate. I don't feel like the waist gets thick from doing heavy squats and stuff, but some guys say that and whatever, and maybe they're avoiding it because they're trying to keep the ultra small waist or whatever. But for the most part, Power lifters are stronger when it comes down to the big three lifts, but when it comes down to the auxiliary lifts, you know, like stuff like arm curls and French curls and stuff, they're not necessarily stronger, although they could be, but they're not necessarily stronger than bodybuilders in that way. Now, that also said, power lifters also specialize mostly with low rep ranges. So, you know, they're really concentrating on the one rep max. That's really the main thing that they're concentrating on. But when it comes down to sets of eight or sets of 10 or sets of 15 reps, you will find that bodybuilders, for the most part, could probably use heavier weight, comparatively speaking, right? Uh, because they are focusing more on those medium rep ranges, not necessarily for the one rep maxes, because even a power lifter will tell you that, 
you know, one rep maxes, if they're, they're actually your max lift, it's, it's still got an element of danger. I mean, there's always these guys that are doing one rep maxes in powerlifting tournaments and they're tearing pecs or destroying a joint or something like that. I mean, it, it does happen. So bodybuilding can be a little bit more of a conservative uh, athletic career as far as it, it, it has a tendency to last longer than a powerlifting career per se. I mean, there are some bulletproof Viking sort of warrior dudes in powerlifting, which I admire. But like I said, if you're doing one rep maxes all the time, not everybody has the capacity to push the joints that hard. So based on that, based on your constitution, based on your individuality, you know, you may find that powerlifting might resonate with you more or bodybuilding might resonate with you more. And yeah, just, just trust in that. Just follow what your constitution basically demands because uh, yeah, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot more rewarding time if you cater to your own individuality and what's going on in your body and stuff. And, and that said, there was just a comment that was made in, in my comments and this guy said, oh, you're, we're all humans. So uh, you're saying that uh, because we're all humans and we have uh, similar, um, you know, organs and all this kind of stuff, uh, but we're still different. That doesn't make sense because we're all humans. So we must be the same. It's like, I don't even know where to start with that comment because the thing is, is that we know that a, one human can be born at a certain height. Another human could have a different height. Another human could have uh, the exact same height as another one, but have different joint ratios, like longer arms in proportion to a certain height. Uh, one human can have a greater capacity for natural strength or athleticism than another human. Like we know this, right? And if you take two people and you put them on the exact same training program, one person will respond better than another person for a certain outcome. So we know that the law of individuality is absolute. It does apply. And by you paying attention to what your body is showing you will help you find out what will work best for your body and what is going to be best for you. So case in point, like maybe you need to apply a little bit more powerlifting in your, in your training or a little bit more bodybuilding in order to cater or dance with your body to get the best results instead of injuring it or pushing it too far one way or the other, right? So yeah, I hope this answer. <laughs> So yeah, I hope this answers your question. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you need to get home, just go to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. Mountain. Oh yeah, and a little bit of house cleaning. Some people are complaining that uh, they haven't got their exercise sticks yet or their, their rocks. They put in some orders and they haven't received their orders yet. You know what? Uh, it's not my fault. I mean, stuff is on back order and I've got a bunch of Sasquatches and stuff like that working in the warehouse and you have no idea how hard it is to get these guys to work. And the truth is I try not to go to the warehouse that often because it smells in there. It just smells bad. Okay. That's just the, when you get Bigfoot's working for you and Sasquatches and stuff, they don't smell that, that good. All right. Uh, not, not to mention they don't like it when you are in their space. So, you know, uh, I'm not willing to risk life and limb to go to the warehouse to make sure that they're packing the boxes properly and everything. So you're going to get your stuff when you get your stuff. You're just gonna have to deal with it. It's kind of the risk of ordering your exercise sticks, but be rest assured that you will be getting your exercise stuff eventually when the Sasquatches feel like packing up the packages and sending them out to you. Motor.